Okay, guys. So, Grandpa Marconi on the internet. I was just going to show you an example of a coral out of a Wilson. I suspect this coral came out of a trucker type, a little raised coil uh, on the shaft uh, version of the uh, of their. Uh, 500,000, 4,000, whatever it's called, a version of the uh, Wilson antenna. And uh, I'll discuss a little bit about what Bob's observations are, albeit a different coil. But he talks about this nut right here being made out of regular ferrous type steel. And rust into Dickens. Uh, this one here, this particular coil here, has a, a stainless steel. And so are the uh, so are the star uh, star type uh, washers, retention washers, are underneath it. They're made out of stainless as well, because you don't see any rust. But you definitely can see some evidence of uh, water intrusion. Uh, on this brass here, this brass stud, because it left these little white deposits. Uh, supposedly, I guess that's uh, uh, oh hell, I can't think of the name of the stuff that it leaves calcium deposit, I guess. But you can definitely see that here. But it didn't uh, doesn't appear to be anywhere else on it. It certainly didn't go down through the stud. That ends up down here. It's all stainless down here as well. You can see that there's no sign of nothing. See that the end there? It looks clear, clean as a bell. And you don't show any remnants of it getting in here or water settling on here. So it looks like it got down to about. Is that. Am I losing the clarity there? Yeah, I need to back up a little bit. Uh, looks like it got down to about right here, but that's as far as she went. So maybe this one, this particular one was uh, sealed up better at the factory and consequently getting any water in. This one came out of the, uh, out of the thing because this, uh, apparently this little capacitor here, that resolves the issues of uh, uh, seeing a 50 ohm match the way it's tapped into this coil. Uh, probably popped or probably went bad. It doesn't test good. It uh, shows uh, physically to be all right, but I'm not sure what happened. Most capacitors I hear pop uh, are usually puffed up or distorted or oily or something going on with them. Sometimes out on a telephone pole, those transformer type capacitors out there just blow the hell up. You know, I mean, they do all kinds of crazy things. So I don't know what to expect about that, but the fellow that took this out that I got this from told me that capacitor was bad. And if my test is right, I didn't take it apart to test it, but I tested from here to the here. And I think I see a open circuit there or it should be open or I see a it should be closed and I, or else I see a open circuit the opposite whatever it was I said the first one the opposite of that uh, so I suspect it uh, that's why it was taken taken out to determine what it was what it did what happened apparently the antenna just uh, went kaput otherwise the little old coil looks great, and this happened probably in the 90s that I got this. Back in the 90s, I think. Early 2000s, maybe. But uh, you can't see any wear and tear on that thing, other than what man made cutting this thing off, cutting the feed line off. But at any rate, that's all I got to show. I just try to support what Bob was Describing on his uh, post, 
about water getting into them to support more or less what I said in my other video. Okay, y'all take care. So, Grandpa Corpus Christi broadcasting live and in color with a coil in his hand from an old Wilson antenna. See you.